Hi guys, it's Alisa here or The Diamond Stitcher as I go by on YouTube and Instagram. Hello, good morning or afternoon, whatever time it is you are watching this video. I hope you are having a great day. It is early morning for me and I was in the process of creating some stickers out of this paper and I thought, hey, why don't I film this? Because um, some people might not know about um, the Xyron sticker maker or they've maybe have heard of it but haven't seen it or they're not sure how it works. So um, I'm kidding up a new diamond painting to me. This is a diamond painting from a new, well, they're not a new shop in Canada. They've been around. They've been uh, 3D printing diamond painting accessories for a while and they recently started uh, carrying a licensed diamond painting. They licensed their art from Quebec artists. So uh, that's really special and really cool that we now have a Canadian shop to add to our list of licensed diamond painting shops. So uh, I picked up this cute little llama to do and the kit came with this paper. I know I've already cut it because I didn't think about filming until after, but uh, this came as a, you know, a normal eight by 11, whatever normal paper size is. It's not a sticker sheet, it's just printer paper. And I wanna create some labels. So uh, on their sticker sheet, they have, this red number here, this column is the serial number. Then they have the symbol, the color is the DMC number, and then the quantity they have written down, the weight of the bag, and how many bags. So I don't need to know these last three at all. So I've cut out what I want. So for me personally, I like having the serial number because when I, when I, um, kit up my diamond painting and I put these baggies standing up in containers. I like going one to 52 because then when I find a symbol, I know it kind of where I need to look in my container of baggies to find the diamond instead of flipping through each and every one every single time. So I do use the serial number for that. Of course, I use the symbol number and I decided to keep the DMC number just in case there were any issues. Maybe I ran out of diamonds or any any other kind of issues that you can think of. I just decided to include the DMC number. So the nice thing is you can cut out whatever you don't want and go from there. Now, the one thing to note is in these kits that their numbers aren't uh, corresponding. So for example here, if you have symbol number one on your canvas, you need to grab bag 22. You need to remember not to grab bag one. That's a common mistake. I think probably I could say most of us have made at least once. You know, two is 24, three is 28, four is 37. So sometimes some diamond painting shops will have it so that the numbers correspond. One is one, two is two, three is three but this one doesn't. So that's just something to keep in mind that when you have a number on the canvas that you're grabbing the correct bag. Uh, that's just a quick tip to save you a mess of popping off diamonds because you grabbed the wrong one. Now I have this disposable Xyron sticker maker. I've had this for well over a year, actually probably close to a year and a half to two years. At the time that I bought this, they didn't have the um, refillable ones. There, There was a the refills were on back order, so all they had was the disposable ones. And then for a period of time, they ran out of these too. But prior to filming this, I did check. They do have these on the Amazon store, so I will link them in the description box. This one is a disposable one. It looked like they did have the refillable ones with some refills uh, separately to purchase. Uh, so I will link to that as well in the description box. Uh, but I do have this disposable one, and it's lasted me quite a long time. I've had to use it a handful of times. I can't quite remember how many but um I've used I've also used it like let me see will this yeah so what I'm gonna do actually I'm gonna cut this out so I'm gonna cut this out as well because then I like to put this original artwork in the in my paper log book that way I just have a copy of the original artwork to refer back to if you know I want to swap out any diamonds sometimes I'll refer back to it and and I just like having it in my paper log book these days. Now, the thing is, it's going to have to be cut down a little bit so it fits through that thing, which is fine. Did I cut it down enough? Make sure it's going to fit all the way through. I don't know. I always tend to cut. It's never straight when I try and use scissors, but I think that's going to be good. So we're going to run these things through the sticker maker and see how they work. I hope I don't run out. So I'm going to do this first. Now, can I do this and this to save? 
Maybe if I cut it down a little more. I hate wasting the stickers because they will, um, this entire width of the thing will become a sticker. So let's see if I can uh, conserve some of this. Sorry, it is early morning. <laughs> I've had a coffee and a half, but I'm still, it takes me at least four to five hours for my brain to actually wake up. Let me know if you're like me and it takes your body and your brain that long to actually get moving. It can be quite frustrating, especially if you do work. Um, I want to make sure I don't accidentally cut into the numbers here. So let's see. What I might actually do as well is cut this down. That way I can actually feed it in like this. And hopefully we don't have a lot of waste. Having this disposable sticker maker actually has been really handy. Like I said, uh, some some small shops don't have the ability to make sure things are printed on sticker paper or their supplier doesn't offer it. So this is a, a good hack. So uh, when I'm putting these in, I'm just lining up and making sure that it is going to, in fact, be on the sticker paper. And you want to try to line it up uh, straight so that when you feed it through, it's not cockeyed. Otherwise, it's um, especially when I'm doing this, trying to save space, it's going to uh, not work out so well for me. So that's what you do. You line it up so it is stuck on a piece of paper. And then you there's a, a bit sticking out here that you grab onto and you pull it. Now, it might make some loud noise. Oh yeah, shoot, I forgot I wanted to put those in as well. Let's just feed this in here. And let's put this in. And then you just tear it. Now you want to make sure that it is stuck. Part of the sticker is, part of this paper is sticky. And then, of course, you're going to see once we cut this off. Now, it is a little hard, at least for me, to peel it. Maybe this will be easy. Now I've said it. <laughs> but sometimes it can be tricky. Now, remember, the, these parts, like over here, is going to be sticky here. So just be mindful might get a little bit sticky but this is what I do I then take this top part off and that just pulled off really nicely actually usually it's more of a, a struggle so I'm just going to make sure that this paper is stuck really good to the sticker here as well this picture too and then we are ready to go so I'm going to wait till I have my paper long book to peel that one but I'm going to show you so for this shop, uh, I don't know if I actually said the shop name. It's Les, Cre Les Creations de Clo. They are a Quebec small shop. I did do an unboxing of this. I will do my best to put the unboxing up before I put this short little video up. But um, their, their diamonds come in baggies and they have just the color code number. So it is important when you're doing this that you don't cut the color code number off too soon because you need it to know which symbol or DMC goes to this baggie if you are going to actually use this. Um, I should have taken a screenshot. Let me, oh, I can't take a screenshot. I'm just going to put this like this so I can take a screenshot when I'm doing my video so that I um, have a copy of this beside me. I just find it easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this label carefully. And then all you have to do is peel. I don't have nails, so it's, there we go. So it just peels off like a normal sticker. And then what I do is I stick them on the top uh, left corner of the baggie. I want to put it on straight. 
and you just stick it on there. So it's stuck. It's good to go. So I'm going to go through, not on camera, but just going to keep going and cutting the labels out and sticking them on their correct baggies. So now I have uh, the serial code matching and then I know what the symbol on the DMC is in case I ever have an issue with that. This is going to be a sticker too. So all I have to do is peel this off. Most of it's going to be a sticker and just stick it in my paper logbook. So uh, this is a really neat handy device to have. This again is the disposable Xyron sticker maker. I will link to it in the description box down below. I actually don't know how to open this to see how much I have left, but um, it's been lasting me quite a while. They also, I believe, had the refillable ones in stock, as I said, so I will try to link those in the description box too. I will try to do it for Amazon Canada and Amazon USA, if I can remember. Let me know if you use any type of sticker maker or if you use something totally different that you like. Let me know down below. I'd love to take a look and see what, what else, what other options are out there. Otherwise, that's it for this short video. I just want to show you how to make stickers with the Xyron sticker maker. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. Happy diamond painting and until the next video. Bye.